Reaper alone, and he spots three players, and he realizes three players are holding Alley. The rest of Envy are just going to go charging in somewhere else on the map, catch Navi out of position. So that is, that is a risk. You need to actually just hope that it's more of a default, like a 2-1-2. Two, two. You kill two players on Envy with that push, and you know things kind of go your way. But yeah, that, that position is so clever from Apex, and you pointed it out. He saw C's, um, rather, Edward's shadow as well. So you just see both shadows. Really tough area to push in for Navi. Well, Guardian with the AWP, we'll see if there is any kind of change up so far. It's the very common four-man stack here on the A bomb site with the Flamey holding B. So very similar to the one that Emmy was uh, going for. I'm not seeing a big tactical change, although they are being... A Guardian's being a little bit more forward than he usually would be, actually. Not mm -hmm. holding as far back. That's true. An Apex identical position here for him. Not going to really change up, it seems. If anybody tries to come around this corner, it's going to be the exact same thing. But now he's kind of boxed in here, so he'll need some help from his teammates to get out, or he needs to use one of his own nades. Oh, well, Apex has been spotted in main by Guardian. Is he going to realize that there is also Kenny in there with the opposing AWP? Smoke goes up, flashbang as well to buy some time. They're putting a lot of pressure on Envy, who can't just take shots out of main like they've been doing a couple of times before. We'll see if that's going to work out in favor of them. Happy lurking, down by Pop Doc here. Still 45 seconds. The bomb being brought back as well. Clearly, we're looking at a B push right now, but there's two people defending over here, and they have a Molotov and a flash some flashbangs as well. And this time, Seize just got the M4A4. He's ready for this. He's got 30 bullets. They're all ready to greet Envy when they try and push down. Nice Molotov there as well to buy a little bit more time. 30 seconds left on this clock for Envy to make the play happen. They're going to start feeling the pressure. So the clock forces their hands and the bullets as well. There's Flamey taking the fight with MBK. Kiyoshima trades up with Seas though. That's effective. Flamey on the site. He's going to catch Kiyoshima out of position and he actually assassinates him. It's going to be Kenny and Happy, the last two alive. And Happy, he's alone. He's playing his role, the Lurk role. He told his teammates, go for the push. But now there really isn't anything, anything he can do. Awesome control by Flamey on that bomb side. He only got the one kill, but he managed to shoot NVK enough that he had to fall back. He goes down, he misses the spray initially. Instead of reloading, which would have given time for the terrorist players to move up, mm. he just goes for the, as you said, almost assassination kill there. Finishes him off and goes back again and stays alive the whole time. Just a, a big presence from Flamey on a bomb site where he really only gets one kill. That's going to tie the scoreline at 12-12 and seized one single kill away from dropping a 30 bomb in this game. Yeah, that's obscene. The rest of his team, they're, they're about half that. They're, they're even with Envy. Most, of, most yeah. of Envy floating around 15, 16, starting to get up towards 20. Uh, nobody is really just far and away above the rest like Seized is right now on this server. But we've tied the score now, 12, 12. It's getting very close indeed. Envy has spent all of their money. They're going to be full bot. And again, it's NBK. And NBK has started to take a bit more of a passive position towards Ali as well. He's expecting some kind of change up in the, in the, in the, the defensive pattern from Na'Vi. If Na'Vi want to go for that aggressive push, NBK doesn't want to get caught right in front of him. He wants to hold a clever angle that he can fall back and try and, you know, abuse. And the rest of Envy also, they're all just waiting to see. They aren't really pushing too aggressively, though. So they don't, have, they don't quite have control of Brown Halls yet, for example, to set up for a B play. Ooh. But Kenny getting a kill on Guardian, that'll work just fine as well. Yeah, they're gonna take that Kiyoshima opening up on Flamey. As soon as Guardian goes down, Flamey feels like we have to get some information about what's going on so he can actually structure this defense. Unfortunately, that gets him killed, and now they're in an even worse position. Sees the down here with the Molotov out. Kiyoshima's pushed in, but that's just a distraction right now. He's just here to make them buy some time for get out on the A bomb side, and Edward goes down. Seuss is there with the AWP, but they are just barreling on him. He gets the double kill, though. Can he do more than that? He's still trying. Kiyoshima very nearly kills one, and Seuss. He finally goes down after taking three of them with him. It's a one versus two with 22 seconds. And Seized is miles away. What is... State of the economy right now can't be very, very, very good for Na'Vi. So I'm thinking this is Seized trying to hold on to his AK. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even try and get close. Well, actually, Seized is the only one without enough money. So if he does, then mm -hmm. they, can, they can still buy. If he goes down, then they will probably still buy, but he will be a little bit... Uh, a little bit weaker. Yeah, a little bit weaker in that round. Incredible how much damage Zeus managed to do, though. Three kills. That looked like it was a perfect scenario for Envy. And then they run right into Seized. And actually, Seized, I'm sure that he would love to kind of dart up there and pick up that AWP, but he decides not to risk it. Kiyoshima, instead, getting into position to actually block that off. He goes up with the bomb instead. But the important part... Oh, and he actually gets there just in time, Seized. That is a brilliant play. Guardian would have been short. Everybody, they wouldn't have been able to afford the ops. So now Guardian gets an, an AWP for free. That's actually a huge play on C's part. 
13 to 12. It, I mean, in the beginning, we just had long streaks from either team. Now it's getting a little bit more interesting. They are trading rounds left and right here towards the end of this first map. And there is still so much to come here in the grand finals. D2's, these two teams right now, they seem very evenly matched. So this is going to be waiting down and pop dog has to be careful that those pop flashes have become very popular and teams are very good at throwing them now over at the b bomb site we've got flamey obviously holding on his own and he's got no grenades he cannot stop them by any time so this setup from envy i'm wondering if they realized the grenades were going to be low because this is a perfect time to call this kind of play. Flamey, all he could do is shoot. He takes down MBK. More are coming. Very neat. Drops Kiyoshima. Nice tracer work going out there. But it's going to be 3v4 right now. Apex takes down Season. Oh, Guardian with a bit of a return. And Kenny going to leg one. It's still 3v3. The bomb has gone down. Kenny, he misses the shot. Is he going to fall back and try and play defensive? It seems like it. They don't know that Kiyoshima's up close. That's why it's the gamble right now. If they can manage to pick off Kiyoshima, that is going to work out. But then Kenny is there. Guardian somehow catches him, though. And it's going to come down to Happy now in the 1v2. And they're expecting Happy to come by Link all the time. Happy does this every single time. Instead, Happy holding the high ground, hoping to be able to dunk a shot on Edward. And he just barely gets him at the last possible second. Happy clutches it for Envy. No time for Guardian to save it. What a play. The HD guarantee. He literally dropped it on him. That was his insurance policy. That's what he needed. Perfect play. And Guardian, you see the raw frustration there? He was knifing the trains. He was even running back and forth. He's like, I can't believe it. We almost had it. Edwards down there. He doesn't have a kit. And that's actually what kills the round. I think he would have had the defuse if he had had the kit there. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. 14 to 12. And look at Navi. They know the pressure is on. They forced to buy here anyway. Using all of the remaining back to make this work. This round has to work out. Or they're going to let go of train. And this is their pick, Anders. This is the map that they just dominated an IP on. For Na'Vi to be cutting it this close, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. So now let's see. With the three rifles that they can afford, two pistols, Edward, he was getting headshots early with the Deeg. So, I mean, he is capable of doing some damage. I mean, now would be the time for someone like Guardian to step it up. Seize has already done a lot, and this time he does go down. Big frag, and Apex is going to take out Edward, and it's looking horrendous here. They probably need to save what's left. There's no chance. Envy, once they get just a little bit of traction, you can tell they just get so much speed behind it. And Guardian and Flamey, well, saving rifles, but they're also on opposite sides of the map. They can't even help each other out here to try and put up some sort of defense. Guardian takes one, and well, he's walking right into, ends up dropping to Happy. And Flamey, last man left. It's about to be a map point here for Envy. A terrific performance from the French team here on the second half. In spite of an early five-round loss, they've now almost won six rounds in a row with the exception of one round there that Na'Vi picked up. And that's the key frag of that round is Happy. As Edward is playing around Electric, sure, but he's not really going to, with the deal, he's not really going to be able to stop the full push. It's the fact that Happy eliminates the rifle and manages to just take that out of the equation completely right from the start. That play, that, it's just Envy are such an explosive team. They can, as soon as they have that first kill, this is what they're famous for. They just go crashing onto that site. They never really let you catch your breath. Some teams, you know, they'll get the pick. Navi, this was Navi's old style. They'll get the pick, and then they wait 40 seconds. They wait for you to get antsy. You're rotating around the map, trying to guess where the next hit's going to come from. Envy have a complete opposite style. They're like, we got the first kill. Go, smash them. Don't wait. Just completely crash into the defense and overrun them. Ooh, it looks like they wanted to go fast as well. Apex finding one more opening this time it's on Edward and that's a very bad sign for Na'Vi here the French economy is not that good if Na'Vi win this round they can force it into overtime that's still a chance but seized here he's gonna get one refract happy takes down Flamey and they're very low on health on the Na'Vi side Guardian getting a good kill him with the scout here it's now a three versus three they need more frags and Seuss is gonna help out on MBK this is a huge round this is overtime in the balance for Na'Vi they just need this one round here and enemy's economy for the rest of this map is gonna be a little bit funky Apex and Kenny are gonna be left Open AK and a lot of time. Maybe there's Guardian, and Guardian hits the shot. The key frag of the round, and now he has an AK to play with as well. If Kenny can pull this off, he has 50 seconds, so he has time to play with. But if he can pull this off, this would be one of the most legendary I mean, tournament plays of all time. He needs to hit this first shot on Guardian, but he's not going to get the flick in time. Guardian's there to save the day. And yes, a triple kill for Guardian at the end of the round. And really, the frags, it seems, have been really top-heavy here as far as Guardian are concerned. Seized, he's slowed down a little bit, actually. He's been sitting around that 30 mark for quite some time now, so he's up at 31. I mean, it's still, you know, I can't really poo-poo, you know, a 31 frag performance, but 
but but at some point you need some help and the fact is that guardian on the other hand in the last couple of rounds has actually really stepped it up and he's gonna need to step it up a bit more kenny going for the one awp at the time see if he can make an opening he actually spends his whole um bank doing that so it had better work this time around nobody pushing to give him an opening though which he's kind of hoping for here yeah this is going to be a very tight game now Envy, they will have essentially one more buy. Unless they can get some bomb plants in here, they're going to have another buy in them unless they can just pull it out with a pistol, which is definitely not unlikely. Oh, which is exactly what they're famous for, right? And there, it is going to be the straight rush. They want the bomb plant at all costs. And Flamey finds the headshot on Apex. He gets a second one on MVK. He could go for Kiyoshi, but it's the fadeaway shot as he gets around the train and drops the bomb at his feet. Falls apart completely for Envy. Now, what can they hope to accomplish? They're not going to get the bomb plant when there's four players from Na'Vi sitting on this site camping it. But that, that last shot, Anders, that was a thing of beauty. The focus on Flamey. He knows exactly what that bomb plan means. It probably means another buy round for Envy instead. It's right there next to all those terrorist corpses, and it's going to be Kenny and Happy left. There's not a lot that they could do right now. That's a very, very tight defense put up there by one man. 30 seconds, though. 30 seconds left is not enough time. Kenny has just found the one way out of this, though. Now he can go back into T-spawn and save. Happy should just kind of throw himself out there. Make sure that this AWP stays alive at all costs. That's the goal here. Even gets the rifle. So this is perfect. If they can just hold up and hold on to this stuff. But the problem for Navi is they can't even go hunting all that much. The leg shot there on Happy. If they get the kill, it's great. But they have almost no money. If they lose rifles now, they will be in a lot of trouble. See, they're going to try and go for it anyway. They're really feeling it. Happy goes down. Kenny with a refrag once. Still a 1v2. He knows Scopes Edward. And this is very, very expensive. And I'm actually sort of wondering if it's worth it because envy they have just enough to buy here they're gonna go for it now the on the other hand those rifles they lost here could have been converted into grenades which would have maybe been used to try and stop envy I, mm -hmm. i'm wondering about this they still have three but that's zeus i mean zeus has to go for a five seven he can't actually afford a rifle to get all of this all of those nades he'll get dropped by seized in fact so zeus is give is has been given seized Hmm. Rifle sees this is why he's so hot right now. He's like, you know what? It's all good. Here, Zeus. I'll just go get one of my own off of Envy. That's fine. That's fine. Scavenge one. He's gonna he's gonna make them pay the iron price, similar. Indeed. So the lead. Oh, well, Kenny. Looking to boost up here. Grenade in once, like they've done earlier. Look at that devastating grenade. But Edward, he gets shot in the face with the AWP, and now Zeus. Looking up on the train here, trying to see if he can get a little bit closer. That was a devastating grenade to start off the round with, and it could come back to haunt enemy later. Not fun trying to play after plants if you've got no chance to challenge at all. Seems the angle here is very good indeed. He knows exactly where he has to sit, not to get spotted from Pop, but still be able to catch people as they come out of main. He does also have a Molotov, and so does Seized and Flamey. And here comes the fake. Happy setting it up to look like it's going to be on that B site, but Zeus up here gets the early warning spots. Apex could take out MVK as well. There's the final shot with the final bullet. And it's going to be down now to Kenny to land the point blank shot on Zeus if he wants to get past this line because Zeus has done a fantastic job of wearing Envy out. 30 seconds left and Kenny strikes. Kiyoshima with Steve, but then Guardian from the back line. And we're into a two on two. 30 seconds left and they should be able to get the bomb plant now. Smoke goes down to block off Flamey and Happy. All he has to do is hold this angle now. Ooh. Although Flamey going right through it, he realizes it's too late, but Happy turns around. He's there for the clutch, and it's going to be Guardian now. 1v2 to keep his team in this to go for overtime. Headshot, and it's not going to happen. Kenny is there to lock it down. And in 30 rounds, Envy will take the first map. They will rob Navi of their map pick. Wow, 26 kill on kills on Kenny, 32 on Seized, and Guardian with 24. There are a lot of people coming alive in this particular match, but what a performance. Look at the dejection in C's face. What do I have to do, team? 32 frags, I dominate the first half, and we can't take that win? There's gonna be some talking going on here between these map standards, because C's, he's, he needs to expect more from his teammates. And that's a heartbreaking loss. Your own map pick, and it goes that close. When you don't make it, you've gotta respect that it somehow has to mentally backfire as well. 30 rounds on the first map. There's Flamey still inside the booth, hasn't got up yet. Uh, probably <laughs> trying to replay exactly what went wrong. We're gonna uh, go to a quick break here. We'll be back with the uh, following map. It's still Grand Finals, the best of three. So stay with us, we'll be back soon.